It is acceptable that a handful of billionaires can exert unbelievable influence over the political and legislative process. Whether it is acceptable that the middle class continues to disappear and almost all new income and wealth goes to the 1%. Whether it's acceptable that we are the only major country on earth that does not provide health care or paid family and medical leave to it all. Whether it is acceptable that hundreds of thousands of bright, qualified young people are unable to get the education that they need or whether we are not dealing effectively or not with the crisis of climate change. Whether we are not dealing effectively with a criminal justice system which is broken and has more people in jail than any other country on earth. Those are some of the issues that are out there. And what I am perceiving is that all over this country, and I've been in California and I've been in Maine and a lot of states in between, the American people are saying no. That is not acceptable. That is not what this country should be about. And what people are saying is it is too late for establishment politics. It is too late for establishment economics. That we need to bring millions of people together. And in my view, the trade union movement is right in the middle of that struggle to stand up and say to the billionaire class, sorry, you are not going to have it all. Sorry, we are not going to allow your greed to continue to destroy the working families of this country. my remarks on a note of real opportunity. What happens when people stand up and fight back? If we were here in this room five years ago, somebody jumps up and says, you know, Bernie, I think this $7.25 an hour minimum wage is a starvation wage. I think we have to raise that minimum wage five years ago to 15 bucks an hour. What the person next to him would have said is 15 bucks an hour. You want to more than double the minimum wage? You're nuts. You got to be more conservative. You got to be more realistic. Don't be so radical. But then what happened because of the efforts of the trade union movement? Thank you very much. Workers in the fast food industry, they went out on strike. People at McDonald's and at Burger King and at Wendy's, they said to the community, we can't live on $7.25 an hour. We want and need 15 bucks an hour. And then you know what happened? The communities around this country heard them and said, you're right. And then in Seattle, a couple of years ago, 15 bucks an hour. Los Angeles, 15 bucks. San Francisco, 15 bucks. In the last month alone, Oregon, California, New York State, $15 an hour. This happened, this idea, which five years ago would have been thought to be radical and unthinkable, is happening today because people stood up and fought for it. So don't tell me that we cannot transform this country, that we can't create good paying jobs by rebuilding our infrastructure that we can't have paid family and medical leave and health care for all like every other major country on earth. Please don't tell me that because it's not true. It can happen if we are prepared to stand up together, not let the Donald Trumps of the world divide us up. And when we stand together and when we have a vision which says that we have a government that works for all of us, there is nothing, nothing, nothing that we cannot accomplish. Thank you all very much.